Where is the true experience of art more likely to be registered? Is the act of appreciating art about finding something that can be consumed or about an encounter with something that can't be captured? Can the public be trusted to embrace art for what it is if they don't know what the painting is? Is the gulf between creator and spectator now too large to cross? Is it possible to look at a painting without ever being asked the point of it? Should the artist keep promising and never deliver? Will the attempt to materially express our spiritual belonging to each other forever fail? We are born alone, we live alone, we die alone. It takes a heap of living to keep these facts from showing. I think the whole painting is about transformation. Transformation from the first canvas of just the structure that's kind of sitting there. But here it is. But here it has the blobs that sort of have life of their own. And they're like moving around through the air. And they're starting to become something else. It's like they're transforming. And I think there are different stages of transformation. There's a different stage of when they're alive and when they're coming to life when they're alive and when they're dying. And then when they've been scraped, they start to transform to become something else. Okay, this is a rhythm of washing. This is a rhythm of scraping, of painting and washing. Okay, so this is like the third painting I'm doing on this one. Each time I think I'm getting closer to the core. The core is wanting to come out, to get out, to get out, to get out, to get out. It's still not as simple as I'd like it to be, but it's getting better. To make a choice is to accept consequences and entitlements. A canvas is empty. Its emptiness is filled with desire. Desire makes a promise. Need makes a compromise. Circumstances make a contract. The contract is a painting. The traceless becomes the trace of the trace, a love of the love. The painting is hopelessly compromised, while nevertheless, against all odds, it presents us with the thing itself and, along with the thing itself, it offers us the thing itself as a thing. But the thing itself as a thing is almost entirely imperceptible, because we don't know what things are except in their own surroundings. But the thing itself as a thing tells us so little of its own surroundings that what remains is that which doesn't pass from one presence to another, that which grows bright in our presence even as it slips away from us. So this is all done just to build these pieces. These pieces are like instructions of how it's all supposed to happen. And it it's like it goes from number one to number 12. It's like it just happens. It's like it's just happening. Time is like a relay race where the baton is the race itself. If you get the joke on people not getting the joke, the odds are good you're one of those people who has never known how to get the joke. Consider whether you are not in some sense a canvas 
and whether you will ultimately be painted. Consider whether you are ready to be painted. Consider whether you paint yourself. Consider whether you are prepared to have an artist paint you. Consider the manner in which ourselves and ourselves as they are perceived and relayed to the world undergo a series of changes and transformations, punctuated with moments of apparent stasis and even times when the series of selves appears to be starting over from the beginning. Consider whether Holmberg's last creation is not in some sense a new life rather than the end of an old one. Consider whether the acceptance of an inevitable death is an invitation to new life. So, painting now, I think is something else entirely. I like working on sites. I like layering. I like putting things just under the surface. But not too much, not too much, not too much. You have a feeling of what could be there. That's the magic. That's the magic part of it. The glimpses of a ghost, a shadow, a soul. Over time, I think the process of the pieces is as important as the pieces that you see. It's not just about the surface at all. When I'm cleaning up or when I'm painting something new, I hate to cover something. I hate to cover something that I've lost. <laughs>